So this is the internals of your regulator right here. It's just one little piece of machinery and it does wonders for the Havoc launcher. Uh, now I do want to stress that the air that you use in this should be high pressure air, but if you do decide to use CO2, which can cause problems later on, uh, it must, must either be anti-siphon CO2 or it has to be through a remote coil. It is not recommended whatsoever. High pressure air is the way to go with one of these guys. So let's uh, put this all back together. So as I'm putting this back together here, the guys and I, when we first got this, wanted to try out uh, what would happen if we did use CO2. Well, the O-ring on the regulator here burst almost instantaneously. So that is not a good idea to use CO2. Now, when you're putting the regulator back in its, in its place, you want to make sure that it's seated correctly. Uh, I just got that in really quick that time, and uh, normally it's a really troublesome little guy. So you just want to push that in once you have it seated, put your spring back in, and then you want to screw that back in. You want to make sure that's nice and tight and really flush in there just to make sure that the regulator is in there safely. Alright, so we're just going to grab the top of our piston housing here and get this put back together. You want to push it in until you hear that pop and then just start gently screwing in. You want to push in a little bit on each turn and uh, these are really, really finely threaded so you want to make sure that you're carefully making sure that you're not going to cross thread this and then you get to that point where it gets a little tough and you gotta put in a little bit of torque to get it in and there you go everything's back together so now we're just going to uh, get this put back on the grip frame here with the, uh, the stock on it and uh, put the barrel on and we're gonna take this outside I'm here with Ethan and uh, we're going to take a couple of shots with this, see what the range and accuracy is. We got ourselves the Nerf Vortex footballs, they're real easy to load, you just pop them in there and it's good to go. So Ethan, start All running. Right, let's do this. I'm going to try and hit them right here. That one got real close. Now we'll go for a little range. About 10 feet in front of them. One of the fins was a little bent, so it didn't go too well. And uh, that's the range and accuracy on this guy. Not bad at all. All right, so we put this guy through the ropes. We've taken a look at the inside and we've taken a couple of shots to check out the accuracy and the distance. But a lot of people still have the question, what does it feel like when you get shot? I'm gonna be the guinea pig for that one. So uh, Ethan, why don't you shoot me right in the chest? Why don't you saddle up and let's do this. All right, don't try this at home. Bread basket. How'd that feel? That felt pretty good. That was not in the chest, like I said. That was in the stomach, and that one hurt just a little bit. <laughs> Ow. All right, guys. Well, we've had a good time here. We've checked this thing out. We've looked into the internals. Obviously, we see what it's uh, what it'll do to your buddy when you shoot them. It's got some great distance accuracy. You know, the other cool thing is you can actually load this thing up with uh, other things than just the footballs. You can put in a lot of paint grenades. Uh, you can either get a sabo round and load it up with multiple paintballs. You know, just search around on the internet. A lot of people have a bunch of really great ideas. So that really wraps this up. 
uh, you know, if there's anything you feel like we missed, or if you have any other questions, or even suggestions for another video, just email us at videos at hustlepaintball.com. And remember, you can always get all this great gear at hustlepaintball.com. Thanks again. We'll see you again.